Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Today I'll be doing my review on Yojimbo, which is again a review part of my back to school series. Uh, what Yojimbo does, it helps you connect all the information you find daily on the internet in one spot. So it helps you uh, save as simple as a bookmark, but it also helps you, for example, save a whole web page for all of his content so you can later see it when you don't have an internet connection or your serial numbers. You can save all your serial numbers or as well. Um, make a note to yourself or create a document from a website stuff like that so it helps you collect all the information you find daily uh, in one application so it's easier to find it back later on so let me just show you how this works so with Ujimbo you can quickly collect all your information from the internet and uh, it's really simple so let me just quickly show you a few simple ways to do it so simply first copy a URL press F8 it's gonna pop up uh, Ujimbo window here in the corner of your screen and from here you can quickly make a bookmark so for example uh, Amazon or new Amazon Kindle make your tags and you create your bookmark so that's really easy to do you can also save the whole web page uh, if later on you're moving and you want to still read this article although you do not have internet access simply click on web archive and create the web archive now if I go to my library, you'll see that it automatically created a new archive, new Amazon Kindle. So it's going to quickly download the page. So it takes a few seconds to download the page and then you're totally ready to go. You can visit this web page, read the whole article again without even having an internet connection. So that's great if you want to save some cool articles for later. You can also quickly save images. So just copy an image, hit F8, go to image and it's automatically going to pop up your image you just copied you make give it a name Amazon Kindle give it some tags and here this is what interesting um, since you created those tags earlier with the article it's automatically going to fill them for you so for example if you start writing Amazon it's automatically going to pop up Amazon if I'm going to start writing Kindle with a K boom it's automatically going to pop up Kindle so that's really easy to create fast and easy tags. You can also quickly store all your serial numbers in your Jimbo. Simply copy the serial number, hit the Yojimbo button F8 and it's automatically going to go to serial number and it's going to paste in your serial number. Put your name, your email address, and your organization, save it as whatever you want and you create your serial number and you're good to go. You can also quickly save all your login information. Simply copy your password hit F8 and it's automatically going to fill in your password right here in the password section only thing you need to do is put your account and you're good to go the cool thing about Yojimbo as well is that you can not only collect information from the internet but you can also actually collect information from your computer itself so if you have an unorganized folder you can go ahead and drag that to Yojimbo and now you can actually trash this folder because Yojimbo will save a duplicate of that file to organize it better. Um, so it's really cool to also organize not only stuff you find on the internet, but as well as stuff you find on your computer that is not well organized. So once you're on the main window of Yojimbo, it's really easy to organize all your information you found on the internet. So for example, you can give them labels. Um, so to do, work, personal, shopping, etc. Or you can also create folders for them. So right click in the left toolbar and you can create a new collection or a new tag collection so let me show you what a tag collection is for example you want to make a collection of the Amazon Kindle and you create your tags so Kindle Amazon and you're good so all the items that are going to have those tags are automatically going to go in this collection hit OK and boom you'll see all the stuff that I collected on the Amazon Kindle are gonna be in this folder so it's really easy it automatically does it it's instant and you can save uh, all the stuff like that you can also simply create a normal collection so let me show you how that works right click new collection you create your collection whatever you want it to be for example music and then if when you're browsing wherever you're browsing whatever you want in that folder it's really easy for example you want this image simply drag to the Jimbo tab at the side at the by default it's on the right side although you can change that in preferences 
and leave it in your music folder and boom you'll see it dragged automatically to the music folder right there and I've got my image so that's pretty cool uh, it's really easy to drag and drop on the little your Jimbo ta uh, tab here and uh, let me quickly go over the preferences uh, of your Jimbo so in the general preferences you have when you handle a URL, so you copy your URL of a web page, does it automatically create a bookmark or a web archive? So web archive, again, that's saving the whole uh, page. Then in appearance, you can change all the fonts of all the stuff and obviously the general appearance of your Jimbo. The drop dock is the thing at the right side of your screen by default, and you can have it as a dock tab or a screen edge. Uh, so the only difference is that you don't see the tab when it's a screen edge and you can put this wherever you want so in any corner or any side and you can make it transparent or not and you can make a give it a big width or not so that's pretty cool this neat little dock here a mini dock and then you have all the hotkeys to activate or do special actions on uh, your Jimbo a security you can set a your Jimbo password so every time you start up your Jimbo you need to uh, put a password a sidekick if you want to enable sidekick or not so that's for web archives and then simply software updates so when does it check for software updates uh, daily weekly or monthly and you can obviously check now uh, and yep so that's pretty straightforward so that's it for my review on your Jimbo be sure to check them out at barebones.com I'll leave a link to the exact product in the description down there and I'll thank you very much for watching if you have any comments for questions or suggestions be sure to comment or email me or personal message me on YouTube and my email is in the description as well. Um, so I'll thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.